this is Balakmar from Chennai. Today we are going to see another topic. Design techniques for linear phase FIR filters. What are the various design techniques? Fourier series method, window method and frequency sampling method. Among these three, the very important one is using window techniques. Okay. So, window technique design procedure we will see. First, what, what is the first step? We have to choose the desired frequency response of the filter. Basically, there are four types of filters. As you know, low pass, high pass, band pass and band stop. And suppose I am asking you to design a filter, what will you ask me? So, what is the type of filter? So, that is the first step. We have to choose the desired frequency response of the filter. That means I am giving you a shape of a filter. From that shape, you can find out whether this is um, low pass or high pass, band pass or band stop. Fine. Then the capital H D of omega will be given. Next from capital H we have to find small h. That is the impulse response, desired impulse response. So from capital H to small h means we have to take the inverse Fourier transform. Here the inverse DTFT. Formula is 1 by 2 pi minus pi to pi integration H D of omega e power j omega n d omega. Then when we find out this HD of n, the answer will be in terms of sin theta. As you know, sin theta is a periodic signal. It extends from minus infinity to plus infinity HD of n. But we are dealing with FIR filters. But here in the second step we get an IR filter. So to make IR to an FIR, what we have to do? We have to choose a window sequence and multiply a window sequence with HD of n. Thereby we get a FIR filter. So H of n is equal to W of n which is the window sequence into HD of n. Clear? So this can also be used as notes as I told you in the previous classes. Then based on the results of step 3 we have to find modulus of H of omega that is the magnitude response of the filter. 99% this will be a case 1 problem. What is this case 1, 2, 3 and 4? That is nothing but you see there is one topic called frequency response of linear phase FIR filters. This we will discuss later. In this, we are deriving four cases. The first case is linear phase FIR filter when impulse response is symmetric and n is odd. For that you have a result h of n minus 1 by 2 plus 2 sigma n equal to 1 to n minus 1 by 2 small h of n minus 1 by 2 minus n cos omega n. This is easy to memorize because n minus 1 by 2 appears three times in this formula. Okay, similarly you can see case 2, impulse response symmetric n is even and we have different result. Anti-symmetric impulse response n is odd. Uh, we have sin theta and anti-symmetric impulse response n is even which is the fourth case. We have sin theta. Very easy to memorize all the four. This is cos, the first two is cos and the second two is sin theta. Clear? Mostly for the design techniques, linear phase FI filters, usually we will get the results for case 1 only. We have to use the case 1 result in this step number 4. Fine. Then the fifth step obtain the transfer function of the filter H of Z and the last step you have to realize the filter because the linear phase filter we are going for linear phase realization. Clear. So here modulus of H of omega usually if the question is given as design a filter means we have to do all the six steps. Okay, if they are asking only determine the impulse response coefficients of the filter means we have to stop with step number 3. Understood? Okay, now we will go for a problem. Problem here. Very important university question. It once appeared in university. 16 marks. And even JD students can see. Okay. Design a linear phase FIR low pass filter with n equal to 9 using rectangular window and omega c is equal to 1.2 radians per second. This is a statement problem. Okay, what do you mean what is statement problem? It is given in the form of a statement. This problem can be also asked in another way as specification problem. Specification problem you see here given HD of e power j omega is equal to e power minus j 4 omega. See the limits 3 ways they can ask the limits. One is this one minus something to plus something and here directly the answer they can give minus 1.2 to plus 1.2 or modulus of omega less than or equal to 1.9 pi by 5. 
So when you calculate this, 1.9 pi by 5, where pi is 3.15, you know that answer will be 1.2 radians per second. And this is the statement problem where omega c is given directly. In specification, sometimes they may twist like this and give. Understood? And zero otherwise. This means it is a low pass filter problem. The, here the question is design a filter. Usually they will give low pass filter. Okay, you did not strain. Nowadays the question will be easy only. They won't make the students to strain. 99%. Okay, from the limits identify the type of filter. From the limits what are the filter I told you just now? Low pass filter. Because low pass filter ranges from minus omega c to plus omega c. And here capital N is not given. Here capital N is given as 9. So how to find capital N? See, this manual response usually it will be in the form of e power minus a alpha omega. So here if alpha is 4, alpha formula is n minus 1 by 2. From this you calculate n, it comes to 9. Okay. So this is specification problem. They can ask like this or directly they can ask like this. Statement problem. Okay. Fine. Now we will proceed with the problem. As we saw the first step, choose the desired frequency response. So from it is given as low pass filter, draw low pass filter minus omega c to plus omega c and then write the specification e power minus a alpha omega this you have to know. Okay. Next the second step find small hd of n. Okay. Small hd of n you know the inverse dtt formula substitute hd of omega the formula is either hd of omega or hd of e power j omega. Okay, both are same. E power minus a alpha omega substitute here into e power j omega and d omega, you know integration. A power m, a power n is a power m plus n. With respect to omega means other than omega, it will comes down. Upper limit minus lower limit. 2, you bring it inside. N minus alpha, take it outside. This is for a purpose we are doing. So you know e power j theta minus e power minus j theta by 2j is nothing but sin theta. And j, other than j, everything is theta. Okay, and the denominator is pi into n minus alpha. This is HD of n. As I told you, it is I, uh, it is uh, ranging from minus infinity to plus infinity. Now, the second step, by default, we have to find HD of alpha. That is, at n equal to alpha. Here, the formula is for n. The answer, we got it as in the terms of n. So, here, you have to find for n equal to alpha. For reasons, it will be told later. When you put n equal to alpha, alpha minus alpha, it will be 0 by 0. So we go for L naught pital rule, which says limit theta tending to 0, sin a theta by theta is equal to a. So how to use this rule here? This you write it as HD of alpha, 1 by pi you take it outside. And for the rest of the thing, you use the formula. When you compare the formula and the problem, you see a is nothing but omega c. Outside we have pi. So this is a standard answer. For low pass filter problem using for linear phase FIR filters. Omega C by pi. Easily you can memorize. But don't write the answer straight away. Do the steps. Don't be lazy. Okay. Now third one. We have to find H of N. H of N is nothing but the FIR filter we are going to find. I told you as before. The third step. Multiply HD of N with the rectangular window. Rectangular window function is 1 for 0 to N minus 1. And 0 otherwise. Alpha form, uh, formula, you know, n minus 1 by 2, capital N, given the problem is 9, 9 minus 1, 8 by 2 is 4. So, third step, since rectangular window is 1, HD of 1, HD of n into 1 is nothing but HD of n. So, in this problem, H of n and HD of n are same. And this is for n not equal to alpha. Alpha we got it as 4 and this is for n equal to alpha we calculated in the second step itself. itself. So alpha means here 4. So uh, capital N minus 1. 0 to N minus 1 means 0 to 8. If this is 4, not equal to alpha means 0 to 3 and 5 to 8. Okay. Now we have to calculate for N equal to 0 to 8. For 4 we have to use this formula. So first put N equal to 0. When you put N equal to 0 here, omega C given as 1.2. 0 minus 4 by pi into 0 minus 4. You know, using calci, do it, give radiance mode and get the answer. Similarly, for n equal to 1. n equal to 1 means put 1 minus 4 minus 3. All that you get the answer. Radiance mode, be careful. Similarly, calculate from h of 0 till 
h of 8 for h of 4 we have to use this formula omega c by pi okay so that comes to 0 0.382 from the above results because step 4 says based on the results we have to go for modulus of h of omega if you see h of 0 is equal to h of 8 h of 1 is equal to h of 7 from that result what can you conclude h of n minus 1 minus n is equal to h of n that is h of 8 minus n equal to h of n clear so if this is true then we have to use the case 1 formula as I told you before which is the step number 4 the magnitude response okay write the formula now in 9 minus 1 8 by 2 is 4 all that you know just substitute n and write the uh, equation and here you have to substitute here we substitute for small gap capital N and here we substitute for small n ranging from 1 to 4. When you put n equal to 1, 4 minus 1, 3. Here also n equal to 1. This becomes cos omega. This omega is different from omega c. Don't confuse. This omega retain as it is. We cannot substitute 1.2 1, 1 there. Okay. Now come here. So when you substitute small n ranging from 1 to 4, you get this equation on all the results of this value already have found out. Substitute and write the equation. Find the final equation of modulus of h of omega. And the fifth step you have to find transfer function. Formula as you know, modulus of h, h of z is equal to sigma n equal to 0 to n minus 1, h of n z power minus n. Since it is fir, it is 0 to n minus 1. Because usually z transform formula is minus infinity to plus infinity. Substitute 9 minus 1, 8. And 0 to 8 split into 3 functions. Okay. This is how you have to do. Alright. 0 to 3, 4, 5 to 8. Later we will see frequency response derivation. If you see that, you will understand why I wrote like this. And 5 to 8, again write it as 0 to 3. But for small modification and get the final equation. Here also, put uh, 9 minus 1. That is 8 minus 1. 9 minus 1 is 8. So this is 8 minus 10. Write this equation, substitute from 0 to 3, h of, when you put 0, this is 0, 0 said anything over 0 is 1 and 8 minus 0 is 8. So 0 to 3, carefully substitute. Okay, we'll get this. Okay, third years. Um, both CSC and uh, EC also, you'll be studying DSP in third year. Okay, so you not teach you all this simplification. That means substitute h of 4, we already found out, write the values and finally how to draw the linear phase structure n equal to 9 right so if n is odd we have even delays even number of delays so we have n 0 to 8 means we have 8 delays how to draw the 8 delays so here 1 2 like a train 3 4 just see the systematic step how to draw first draw the delays here then come down draw the 4 delays here then put the adder then center put the adder not exactly center just little apart then little apart again on adder again adder join then pull it bring it down join this adder pull it just for pulling this only you have to use, give some space then adder adder so this is the final step this is h of 0 if you want to write the values no problem h of 1 h of 2 h of 3 and h of 4 this is linear phase fir filter design the six steps be careful okay write and see clear all the best take care